hey family i hope you're doing okay welcome to today's video i'm actually here i'm trying to cut these vegetables with a chopping board because this is how they do it here but i've realized i cannot do with a chopping board no matter how i do no matter how i try this is not something i'm used to i'm used to cutting them well just with my hands and the knife no chopping board no chop chop I've been here in the countryside for a few days and I'm just living the peace. I'm loving every bit of, of it. And it makes me even feel stronger that the goal is to build a life you don't need to escape from. Where peace isn't something you chase, but something you live every day. I will actually be preparing a simple lunch. Today is a Sunday. <laughs> it's just me and my boyfriend at home. The house manager is not at home. My mother-in-law, she's at home. She just came from church. And I'm just preparing a simple lunch of gideri. Gideri is a mixture of beans and maize. And maize, so I'll just add some onions. I can add anything I want. I'll add onions, garlic, and tomatoes, and some and the greens, and maybe some eggs for protein. Yeah, so follow along. I'm loving these guys. I really love it. There's this thing that I usually see chefs doing, like they cut the onions, they put them on the shopping board, and they do the knife. What I'm doing, but for me, they're jumping out of there like some possessed frogs.
I'm still adjusting to the quiet and slower pace of life. Every morning when I wake up, there's a moment of disbelief. I'm really like, oh my goodness, I'm here living in the countryside. Like I've always dreamed for, like I'm so happy guys, I can't even explain it. There's a coziness here that makes it feel just right for me. Everything might not be like aesthetic, but oh my goodness, the peace, the quiet it brings. Especially today that is on a Sunday, it's really quiet. So quiet today because no workers in the shamba. Like no most people may be go to church. Sunday is for relaxing. So people relax in different ways. I love the quiet so much because I no longer wake up to the sound of car horns or people rushing down the streets. It's so sweet. I love the nature, I love the trees. And sometimes all you hear is birds chirping or nothing at all. It's like Time has just slowed down, everything has just stopped. I'm learning how to live this life. It's beautiful. We're going to the chamber to collect some macadamia. What do you call macadamia in your place? In my language, you call them candy. <laughs> so guys, let me tell you something. You see these things, three small things called macadamia. These are things that I've always loved. And I think it comes from a place of lacking them when I was young. And I remember my dad used to solve a lot of cases from the neighbors. These like, I don't know, we were surrounded by neighbors who used to have, like, these things. There's this neighbor who had so many macadamia and mangoes. So many of them. And there's a day we went to steal the macadamia and we were caught. Me, my brother and my sister, we were caught and we were brought back to my dad. And he was asking us the reason to go and steal. Do we lack food? That kind of stuff. But... We never used to have these things in the shamba. We were not free to have them. So, like, having them here, just in the shamba, I can go and collect them anytime I want. It brings me so much happiness, so much joy that I can just get macadamia in the shamba when I want to. Oh my goodness, is that not so cool? Oh my. My dad has honestly had to even pay some neighbors when he went to take their macadamia yeah he had he had you know like i don't know our neighborhood even they never used to allow like neighbors kids to take maybe to come to your tree even if the mangoes are down and the macadamia has fallen down they don't want you to pick them and you're not taking the ones in the tree on the tree you're just picking the one on the ground but yeah he, he used to bring a lot of issues to my dad and I hope, <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't know even what to say, but I'm so sorry to those neighbors. I just used to love them. I, I love macadamia and mangoes, <laughs> and mangoes as well. I don't like avocados that much because we used to have them in the shamba, but macadamia and mangoes, hey guys, you don't even know.
so you have to hit them very hard or on a hard surface with a hard thing and that's how you break them I'm actually kind kinda excited because my boyfriend is this is something I was not expecting today but he has we are going to I don't know where he's taking me but I'm excited because I've not been out of the home so I really want to see this neighborhood. So I'm going to take you along with me. I don't know where they got a car but this was his cousin driving us. His cousin is a mechanic so he prov I don't know, but here we are. We're going to to that place, whatever the place is. And as you can see, the roads are quite really nice, even if it's in the countryside. They have access to very beautiful roads that you can drive through, so your car cannot get punctures or something like that. So you're just safe, and everything is just good. down it's so it's so cute it's such a nice place to relax in it's nice to see waters and we found these kids who are fishing imagine all this fish was going for one dollar i thought the kids did not ho know how to sell until i met another man who was selling almost the same amount of amount of fish at the same price as they oh that's how they cost here so the kids are just fishing here and this is what they had caught and they need quiet it needs to be really quiet for them to fish so we had I love it. Good night. It's very late, so you can't see anything. We have not finished the work. <laughs> we'll finish in the house. Okay. Yeah, so.
is beautiful. I enjoyed. Love it. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even realize when you got home. It was not that far. Hey. It was just somewhere around. My legs. <laughs> I'm tired. Yeah. Mama na shindo ilaitu na tokap. Guys, we are here. Let me show you so that you can believe. Here's a gate. Bitsu fungwe.